We are back on our show this uh, Wednesday morning. Patricia Upton with us now from uh, Prompt Sucker to preview their upcoming open house. It's coming up uh, this weekend, Sunday, I believe, January Sunday. 31st. Yes, thank T you. Tell us what's going to happen on Sunday. Sunday, we have our open house for any prospective families that are interested in coming into the school in mm -hmm. preschool, which is the threes up through sixth grade. We do right now have a few openings in all school so if you're looking to change with several kids it's not just for those starting at prompt sucker in the preschool or pre-k program okay and so we will have um, it'll be at the dpc which is the divine providence center in between the in the parking lot in between the church and the school we will start at 11 30 following 10 30 mass we'll have a brief opening and then we will move into the school so we will have you all the classrooms will be open a class for each grade mm -hmm with all the teachers there so you'll be able to go in and you'll be able to see the classrooms and what all we have in the classrooms for each child that you're interested in if you're only interested in a fourth grade child then you'll just go to the fourth grade classrooms and look at that mm -hmm. uh, what do you want the community to know about our lady of prompt sucker our lady of prompt sucker is a wonderful home place um, it's a great place to develop the child, both mm -hmm. academically and to develop the whole person. And that's one of the things in the Catholic schools that we try to focus on is not just developing the academics of the child, but um, that the Catholic education is important for the children to be able to go out in the community and to help serve in the community and teach them that there are other things other than just going to school. To learn and that is nice because it happens at a very young age it, yeah. it starts early yeah. it starts early and they teach them they have even the preschool children and the pre-k um, children have advent programs and during lent have programs on how to either raise money or do chores to help others out things to teach them how to help the community not just it's a little bit more than just them mm -hmm. what sort of extracurricular activities do you offer we have we have a lot of great extracurricular activities some are age appropriate for certain children but right now we're in the middle of intramural basketball which mm -hmm. is first through six so it's their chance to get out there and be the star of the basketball team we just wrapped up our ninth season as doing a uh, play with right. family playhouse and we right. did cinderella mm -hmm. we have um, basketball f football softball baseball Run, Bun, yeah. uh, okay, boosters, girls on the run. Girls on the run. Yeah. A lot I mean, of things there's, to get involved. There's get lots, involved in. and it's for different. It's not all focused in one area. Mm -hmm. So wherever you know that interest for that child is, there's usually a good avenue to be able to foster that interest. All right, open house is coming up on Sunday. Remind Sunday about the time. Eleven thirty at the Divine Providence Center, um, in between the church and the school. And of course that is located on 21st Street, but the church is located on, on Elliott. Yes, right. yes, yes, easy to spot. Yes, very easy to find. Thank you so much. And yeah, and Patricia back at Prompt Sucker. Uh, yes. Raised four children through Prompt Sucker. Spent 14 years there as a parent, and now I'm all, after all the volunteer I've done, I'm back there Working. <laughs> working to try to get those volunteers to come back and volunteer a little bit more. And obviously you give it the gold stamp. Oh, it's, cool. a, it's home for us. Yeah, it's home for us. Right. Patricia, thanks for coming. Thank you. We'll wrap our show up when we come back.